Avid CNC is proud to introduce the wireless control pendant for Centroid-based CNC systems. With this wireless pendant, you can access all of the essential functions of your CNC wirelessly, and you can use it from anywhere in your shop. You can even customize it to your needs as well. Let's dive in and see how it works. Let's go over some of the basic functions of your pendant. Once you've set it up and launched your control software, all you have to do to use it is just pick it up and press the power button. It will instantly connect and on the screen it will show the location of your machine. When you want to jog an axis, all you have to do is switch this knob to the axis that you want to jog. So in this case, if I want to jog on my X axis and I want to jog at full speed, I'll make sure that it's on X and at 100 X speed. And when I twist the dial, it will jog the machine. If I want to do Y, I turn it to Y. And my Y axis moves, same with Z. Now, sometimes you don't want to jog at full speed. Perhaps you're inching up on a part and you want to come in nice and slow or you want to be careful not to break a bit. Well, you can slow the jog speed down with this knob right here. So if I go to 10X, and we'll go back to X here, you can see that it takes a lot more spins for the axis to move. I can go even slower by putting it to 1X. So you can see I'm twisting the wheel a lot and the axis is barely moving. This can be great if you're getting in with a delicate tool right up next to a part. You can also nudge the machine by small increments by putting it to one of these low settings and clicking the wheel one bit at a time. And you can see the DRO here is changing. You can also use this jog plus and jog minus button just to nudge it a little bit. And the faster I put this dial, the more of a nudge you get. And that's how you jog. You can run jobs and control them from your pendant really easily. Here, I'm gonna start a job that I already have loaded in the control software. To do that, all I have to do is press cycle start. This will begin the G-code job. Uh, here for this example, I have the spindle turned off, but you'll see here that the job will start cutting. Now, while a job is running, if I want to pause it for any reason, I can press feed hold and the job will pause. While you're in feed hold, the spindle will still be spinning. And if I want to start again, I simply press set to start and the job will continue on. I can also press tool check. And what that'll do is stop the spindle and raise up the bit. So if you need to check the tool or uh, check your workpiece underneath, you can do that. You can also jog the machine around while you're in tool check in case you need to get a better view of the part underneath. When you want to proceed, go ahead and press cycle start and press it one more time to confirm and your machine will jog back into place and continue the cut. You can also alter the feed rate and the spindle speed while you're cutting. You do that by switching this job knob over to feed rate in this case, I can slow the feed rate way down, speed it up, or bring it back to normal. You can do the same with the spindle speed. And that is how you control jobs with your wireless pendant. Part zeroing using the pendant is really easy. All you have to do is just jog over to where you want to zero, and then you can zero using the zero button right on the pendant. I'll show you how it's done. So for this job, I just uh, want to visually zero X, Y, and Z uh, to this corner here. So all I need to do is uh, I'll start by jogging on X. So I'll switch to X and get over here. You can see I'm in high speed mode because I'm pretty far away from my part. I'll bring my Y axis a little closer. Now, I want to bring my Z down, um, and I want to be careful not to hit the top, so I'm just going to slow the Z down to uh, 10X, and I'll switch over to Z, and we'll start jogging down. It's going to give me nice control so I get exactly where I want. Now that I'm really close, I'm going to slow it down to 1X, and really get that Z dialed right in. And I'll make some adjustments to my X. And same with Y. 
And there we go, I'm pretty happy with that. So now to zero out the axes, you can see on the DRO here on the pendant, uh, we have non-zero values for all of those. So I can start with X, I'll just switch over to X, press zero, and you'll see the DRO zeros out here and on the control software. I'll do the same for Y, switch the switch to Y, press zero, and that's zeroed, and then switch the switch to Z, and press zero there. And now our part is zeroed. Before you use your wireless pendant for the first time, you're going to need to set it up. To do that, you'll need to shut down the control software and plug the USB antenna into your computer. Once you do that, start up the control software and then go to Utility and go to Acorn Wizard. Once in the wizard, go to the Accessories category and look for the selection called Wireless MPG. In here, pick the type of MPG you have in the dropdown. The type you have is indicated by the model number on the MPG itself. Click the model that you have and click Right Settings to Controller. Now your wireless MPG is set up and ready for use. The wireless MPG has four customizable macro buttons. If you go into the Avid CNC wizard under wireless MPG, you can set these to do different functions. As you can see here, I've got mine configured to do various different things that I do all the time in my machine. So for example, I've got macro one set to raise my Z axis up. I've got macro four set to go to my park location. Macro two, I have set to go to my work XYZ zero. And then number three, I have set to turn a relay on and off, which is hooked up to my shop vac. So you can change these however you'd like. We've put in some built-in functions for you, or if you want to edit a custom macro, you can do that as well and customize this, these buttons to do whatever you like. And that is how the wireless MPG works. We think you're really going to love this accessory. Happy making!